Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to turn PNGs from the internet into SVGs so you can put them on Gran Turismo Sport as decals. As you can see in the wallpaper, half of the decals you see on there I've converted myself while the other is all from the community. So we're going to do a two part in this video. The first one is going to be the really easy way of doing it. And the second part is going to be the one where everyone's probably having trouble with trying to get them to save or uh, import into Gran Turismo Sport's website since GT Sport uses a 15 kilobyte uh, file size limit. The reason they do that is to, you know, encourage you to create your own so, you know, the images are high quality and low storage. Um, also, uh, Photoshop's pretty good at doing some of that, so a lot of people don't have that. So, anyway, let's get started. You'll need a couple of programs. The first one is Inkscape, which is free. So I'm going to op uh, open it up here. As you can saw, I have a Gran Turismo. I'm going to explain that later. So this is it. This is how you're going to convert your PNGs into uh, SVGs. And I would recommend a photo editing program or drawing program. I have paint.net. It's very simple. It's also free. You can use whatever you want. Again, if I didn't say it before, I'm not a professional. If there's way better ways of doing it, I haven't seen it or no one's shared it. So this is just one way I've gotten into work a lot from just picking up pieces of videos online. All right, so let's start off with the easy one. So we go online, we find a PNG that's transparent like this Ferrari logo, we'll do that, all right? When you see a Ferrari logo, if everyone wants to load up, whatever, um, you'll see it right here. Uh, this is really easy to do. It's very easy, a lot of people can do that, but you're probably gonna wanna do something more custom like this Gran Turismo 2 logo, because I like Gran Turismo 2 a lot. That's gonna be a little more complicated, at least the way I figured it out, there might be a better way, I don't know. So let's start off with the Ferrari, all right, because that's easy. So it's already transparent. We don't need a photo editing program. Let's open up Inkscape, throw in Ferrari. We're going to do blocky just for, you know, um, optimization and file size, keeping it as small as possible. All right, so we'll do that. All right, so in here, you can do a number of things. You can literally trace and draw it. If you go into the program and go, like, really in-depth and learn it, you can draw this and save you know, tons of storage, but it takes a very long time. It's very tedious. If you don't want to do that, here's the easy way of doing it. Click on the object, go to path, <clears throat> then do trace bitmap. And then you'll get this menu, some options here before you trace it. Uh, let's go ahead and hit live preview so you can see what it looks like. So that's what it's going to look like. We're going to do colors, all right? And we're, the scans is very important. The higher the scan, the higher the, the save file is going to be, but you'll see more colors and it's going to look nicer. In this case, this is black or gray, whatever. So we're just going to do the lowest amount of scans. So let me do that. So it's two. Sorry, it froze. Uncheck everything. If it has a background, you can remove it. I'm just going to check it. That would be like the white stuff. Uh, we're going to uncheck those. Leave optimized pass. It just makes the nodes a little bit smaller. I'll show you what nodes are later. I'm just going to leave it alone because this is easy. So I'm going to hit OK. Cool. So now you can click and drag the SVG out. That's it right here. Those are the vectors. We're going to delete the PNG. We don't need any need that anymore. We're going to uh, select that, do edit, and then do resize page selection. Otherwise, it won't, you know, it'll select a bunch of other things. You, you just want this. All right. So we're pretty much almost done. But let me show you what the nodes are. So if you zoom in, and then you click on this little line node tool. These are the nodes. These, so this is pretty much like vectors, lines, these little coordinate points, whatever you want to call them. All right, the more you have, the more complicated it's going to be and the larger the file size is going to be. So you can delete a bunch of these to like reduce the file size. I'll go into that later. But in this case, we don't have to. This is very simple. So let's go ahead and save this. So on Inkscape, it's the only one I found that works. So again, I'm not a professional, but this worked the best for me. So if you go to File, Save As, uh, we're going to do it as Ferrari. And I've already done this already. So you might see it. I have a folder for SVG. So I've already done it. All right. So we're just going to save it. And you can see it's two kilobytes. I'm going to do Optimize SVG, Save. We're going to have these checked. All right. Don't worry about the other stuff. Cool, and we're going to hit OK, yep, sweet, and we can minimize that, uh, and as you can see here, it is 2 kilobytes. Alright, we can go to GT Sport, as you can see, I have a, a color logo already, so it lets you know that, hey, this is a real tutorial, and I'll get to that in the second part. So you just drag your Ferrari logo, whatever logo you have, 
start upload, yep, and you're done. That's how you pretty much do it. Really easy, that's just a quick, fast way of doing it, alright, nothing crazy. Now the more complicated way of doing it. Again, this is the last time I'll say it, I'm not a professional, so I haven't found a better way to do this. If somebody knows, comment or make a video, that would be awesome. Let's say you want to get that GT2 logo that you saw on here. Now, that's not the best quality looking logo, I'll be honest, but it works, it's on there. It's up to you, this is just going to be an example, alright. So, minimize that. Alright, so this is the GT2 logo here, and you can see the nodes are really small. So it took a very long time to kind of like delete a bunch of these. Now this is a very fast, a lazy way of doing it. You don't have to do it this way. This is just me. You can literally take your time. You can click and drag these nodes around, make them like perfect. You can make your own. You can trace them. If you really want to spend time on it, you can. It's just going to take a while. I just want you to know there's no quick way of reducing the size when you get a complicated image like this. So I'll show you a little bit on like how to get started and then the rest is pretty much like the Ferrari. So what you'll do is first of all let's uh, let's open our photo editing program. Alright you need that. So you can open it, you can then delete a bunch of stuff, make it look all nice and pretty, whatever. Once you're done uh, go ahead and open it up on Inkscape. Alright, so here's the image. So, what you want to do as before is click on the image, go to Path, Trace, Bitmap. Alright, so we want to do colors because this has colors. Alright, and we want to do a live preview, remove background, remove all of that. So, scans are pretty high on this one. You can lower them. Okay, but notice it looks a little crappy, so if you want to keep the quality higher, you can increase it, but you'll have more work to do with those notes like I was talking about earlier. So you can probably get away with doing, um, I would say probably five, and then unchecking all of these, increasing that to the highest. Uh, tolerance, I guess, I don't know, it just says optimize, you can highlight it with your mouse and it tells you what it does, so I'm going to hit OK, great, so you move that out the way, notice that that little part is transparent, if you have any transparent spots, don't worry about it, just literally take whatever color it's supposed to be, and you can fill it in under it on GT Sport in the layering tool, so don't worry if it's like transparent, so we'll delete this, alright, so if we save this now, it's not going to be 15 kilobytes. It's probably going to be like 50-something kilobytes. So there's a couple of things you can do here, depending on your image. One, you can be really, really lazy, and sometimes this works on certain images, but it's going to make the quality look like crap. So if you click on the object here, let's do the uh, resize page selection. Then let's click on object, ungroup. So if you ungroup, now you can work with these individual images. So let's do the blue G because that's easy, it's all curved, so you can do path, simplify, and what it just did is it's going to make these little nodes, you know, fewer and fewer, which is going to save, you know, storage, at least that's how I figured it out, so I'm going to keep doing it, um, until, see that, see how it's getting smaller and smaller, but it also gets a little bit weirder, it gets curvier and doesn't look as right so you can kind of adjust it so this is the t this is like the tedious part so you have to kind of play with it so that's where you're gonna have like you know taking a lot of time lots of issues so it's really up to you what you want to do um so if we click on the two over here sorry it's this program is a little weird click on the two there's tons of these nodes everywhere you can delete them all right, it'll smooth it out as well. So if the simplify isn't working for you, you can delete them manually. See, it made it straight. So you can kind of like select it and move these around. So, or you can just, you know, manually trace it, which takes a long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the end result. Again, this is just like super lazy and super quick. This is not what I'd recommend doing. But you can see all the nodes here, right, as an example. So we'll go to the super lazy edited one that I did. 
and you can see how few the nodes are on here. Very few, barely any. But see, it looks like crap. So, you know, it's, it's going to be up to you. So you, you're going to save that as usual. File, save as, to optimize. And I've already done that. And as you can see, it's 15 kilobytes, which is good. So then what you'd want to do next is you would just go back to GT Sport, upload it, and here it is. So doesn't look as good, but you'll have to kind of play around with it. That's the part where it's not easy and it takes a lot of work. But that's all there is to it. I mean, that's just a quick, easy way of just getting them on there. Again, if you know a better way, you can do it. Photoshop's probably the best way, but Inkscape is free, and so is Paint.net. And if you want something simple, that's what you can do. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them.